Uganda Investment Authority reasons that the proposition by the Parliamentary Committee on Tourism and Trade of concentrating Chinese traders in industrial parks is misguided. Let's address the root cause of the problem. Let's not look at the symptoms. Let's not treat, try to address the symptoms. Now we move them from Chukwu or put them in Nama. To do the similar thing, we not have solved the problem. However, Uganda Investment Authority sees the need for a clear line to be drawn between the qualifications for existence as traders and investors. Some people are interpreting investors' color. You know that? They look at the Chinese, they think because he's Chinese or Indian, therefore he's an investor. That's not the definition of investor. Could be Chinese doing trade. But it could be Uganda and fitting within the definition of an investor. The investment regulatory body hence urges revision of the law to determine whether foreign traders are accepted in the country or vice versa. Let's debate that. Not at my level, but also at, you know, in parliament, you know, in cabinet. Let's that, that question be debated and the, Consensus is reached. The push for enhanced investment has been ongoing with every effort to improve investment climate so as to attract foreign investors underway. A section of traders, however, view this as posing a threat to their very existence. The policymakers, of course, having the interests of the citizens at heart, had several recommendations that they thought could form choice of action. We are going to be colonized in a style whereby they are now using our resources, our own resources, to, to, to colonize ourselves. The Parliamentary Committee for Trade resultantly had a tour of Chikubo and witnessed these problems that the traders are grappling with. As drivers to policy making, some propose that the foreign investors should be concentrated in industrial areas. A small kiosk, the size of this container where they sell airtime. Yes. How can a person from in China come to operate such a small kiosk? That one is for Ugandans. Why would they displace Ugandans from such small business? So Madame Jennifer Musisi should also come and do Akuna Muchezo in Chikuwo. For Ugandans to go out of business, cannot afford anything because Chinese traders, retailers are coming to Chikubo to take over the business. The Investment Code Act stipulates that a foreign investor who is intending to engage in trade only shall incorporate a company with the Registrar General as required by law and shall deposit a sum of 100,000 US dollars or its equivalent in Uganda shillings at the Bank of Uganda, which shall specifically be used for importation or direct purchase of goods for the business. Nancy Okwong, WBS Business Kampala.